Welcome back to the Eternal Sith Network, where you get all your Star Wars news. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back here, as today we have awesome information on, yes, Moff Gideon and Season 3 of The Mandalorian. But before we do start there, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell, so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars as I put new videos out every day. And also, I just opened up a merch store, so go check that out at redbubble.com. And once you get there, type in Darth Eternal, and you will see I have a whole bunch of stuff now out. So go check it out, buy some merch, and support the channel. But also, when you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So it appears that Star Wars News Net has revealed that Moff Gideon will have new armor and a new helmet in The Mandalorian Season 3. Now, we know that there is going to be a lot of upgrades to this season and a lot of changes to a lot of designs in the Mandalorian armor, as opposed to Din, as opposed to bo -Katan. We know we're gonna see a lot of new things in this series. But moreover, the headpiece will resemble a Mandalorian helmet that we will see, yes, Moff Gideon have, and it will be with black and red eyes and horns on it. And who do you think that is in honor to? the one the only darth maul and interestingly it's gonna have reportedly six horns on the helmet which is what darth maul also had now star wars news net also pointed out that gideon season 3 helmet will look a lot closer than boba fett's helmet and it will also be black shiny and very sleek lastly gideon's full upgrade also includes a black and red jetpack so if that doesn't speak darth maul i don't know what is but if this rumor is true, then this isn't the first time Darth Maul is referenced in The Mandalorian. For example, in The Mandalorian Season 2's Chapter 14, The Tragedy, a Zabrak appeared in the Republic's prison registry. So right then and there, we have seen, yes, we've seen Maul's species in this series. So if this isn't another nudge to Darth Maul, there it is for you guys. We've already seen it in The Mandalorian. So this is just another, uh, yet another resemblance to Darth Maul as well. Now, the big question is, will Moff Gideon get his revenge in Season 3? It's unknown if Moff Gideon is fully aware of Darth Maul's key role in the Empire during the prequel trilogy, and obviously before A New Hope, but there's a strong possibility that the Star Wars villain has an idea of the Sith's massive presence, and we know that throughout the galaxy of obviously having, yes, Crimson Dawn, or as they call it now, Crimson Rain. It's likely that channeling Darth Maul in his new costume might be a coincidence without him even knowing that he has ties to the dangerous Sith. Gideon's use of Darth Maul's connection could also be his way of mocking the Mandalorians and not just Din as well, considering that the fallen Sith Lord has a massive impact on the Siege of Mandalore story timeline from Star Wars Rebels as well. So moreover, the fact that Gideon has his own armor in The Mandalorian Season 3 essentially means that he will go all out in terms of seeking revenge against Din, Grogu, and whatever other allies that we know to have come in the series. This also confirms that the show's villain will escape the clutches of the New Republic, thus further cementing how dangerous he truly is. All in all, this new evidence suggests that a rematch between Din and Moff is the cards for Season 3, likely leading to an epic conclusion to their long-standing rivalry. So this is going to pay homage. I feel like Season 3 is really going to focus on Mandalore. I feel like seeing Bo-Katan there, I, you know, the whole thing with the Darksaber. This is going to be an epic fight of the century as we've seen in these still shots from the trailer. I, I think that this is going to be a big season i feel like season three to me of the mandalorian is gonna be the best one so far from what we've had in a long long time out of out of both the seasons that we've gotten but i feel like it's even gonna top season four and five like i know we're gonna get those two but i feel like this one's really gonna top it off because i've been dying to see mandalore in live action and we know the history that it has so to see this come into live action i'm super excited i can't wait for this full um big war to come out now, we don't know if Bo-Katan is going to be going against Din for that Darksaber, but we do know that they will see each other at some point in time throughout the season. And we know now that, yes, Moff Gideon will be there as well and a part of that battle at some point in time. Remember, guys, 
Comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's news on Moff Gideon getting this armor that resembles Darth Maul. And what do you think the coincidence of that is? But also remember, for more Star Wars content, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And remember, the Eternal Sith, then, now, forever. Later, guys.